Alright, so we've looked at how to factor a quadratic equation to go from standard form to factored form. We've looked at how to complete the square to go from standard form to vertex form. Now I'd like to look at going the other directions. From factored to standard and from vertex to standard. And both of these are really just expansion of expressions or of equations. A lot of times you'll hear uh, what I'm going to do called FOIL. And it's really just an anagram in order to help you remember what to do. In reality, it's actually more appropriately called the distribution of expressions. So let's see what in the world I'm talking about. Let's say I have a factored form. For example, um, 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 7. Now in order to go from factored form, which this is in right now, uh, to standard form, all you really have to do is expand this and get rid of all of your parentheses. And really all I'm saying is I want you to multiply all of these out. So it doesn't matter if you multiply this 2 into your first set of parentheses first, or if you would prefer to do the distribution of expressions or the FOIL uh, first. I'm going to get rid of these two parentheses and I'll deal with my 2 later. So for now, I'll bring that 2 back down. Now, if you've never heard of FOIL, FOIL is an anagram to remember how you distribute your expressions. It stands for first, outer, inner, last. And that means that you take your x and your x and you multiply them together to get an x squared. Then your outers, that's your x and your 7, gives you a 7x. Inner means these two inside terms, negative 1 and x gives me minus, minus 1x in theory. I'm just going to write that as a negative x. And last, negative 1 times positive 7 gives me a negative 7. In reality, what I've done is I've taken this x minus 1, and I've given it to that x plus 7 by distributing the entire thing. So I take this whole term and I distribute it to both expressions, or both, sorry, both parts of my expression. So I end up with x times x minus 1 plus 7 times x minus 1. Distribute again, and you'll get x squared minus x plus 7x minus 7. And now we can see that these two are equal. Again, FOIL is just a good way to remember what you're doing. So let's look back over here. Let's combine some terms. x squared plus 6x minus 7. And we'll bring down our y equals. Now I'm going to distribute this 2. y equals 2x squared plus 12x minus 14. And that's all you have to do to go from factored form to standard form. Pretty straightforward, actually. Now, let's look at how we would go from vertex form to standard form. So, just a little bit of marking up what's there. And then, vertex to standard. Now, vertex to standard is a little bit more complicated, only because there's more things to keep track of. So, if our vertex form was, say, 2 times, oh, I don't know, let's say x plus 3 squared, um, and let's get a nice big number out here, minus uh, 32, why not? All we're going to do is expand this 
until we get rid of all of our parentheses. So we have y equals, again, this, in your order of operations, you want to do your exponents first. So I'm just going to rewrite what this is actually telling me to do. x plus 3 squared is saying take x plus 3 and multiply it by itself. And then we'll bring back our negative 32. Don't forget that part. And now this looks like another problem where we're going to distribute our expressions, or again, you could call it FOIL if you wish. So I take my x and my x, and I get an x squared. x and 3 gives me a 3x. Three, 3 and x gives me a 3x. And 3 and 3 gives me a positive 9. And I'm going to put that back in parentheses because I've got this 2 multiplier out in front and a minus 32 at the end. So let's simplify that a little bit. 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 32. And now we have a distribution problem here again with this 2 gives us 2x squared plus 12x plus 18 minus 32. Okay, And again, all I did there was distribute this 2 into that set of parentheses there. And last but not least, let's combine that 18 and that 32. We get 2x squared plus 12x and 18 minus 32 is going to give us a minus 14. You may notice that these are the exact same quadratic equation in standard form right now. Uh, that is because this is the vertex form of that quadratic function. And up here, I have written the factored form of that quadratic equation. Those are all equivalent statements. They all describe the same function, but they are used to basically see different aspects of the same function. So to be clear, what I just said is that 2x squared plus 12x minus 14 is equal to 2 times x plus 3 squared minus 32. And both of them are also equal to 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 7. Those are all equivalent statements and just different forms of the same quadratic function. Thanks for watching.